Willie D. Live. I have literally embarrassed white people in front of white people. Words. I saw you. I okay. saw it. Okay. I saw it. I, I saw it. I, saw I it. just want everybody to know that I'm, no. I'm an equal opportunist. It's, you, uh, you are. You are. You're an equal opportunity offender. I get it. But what, like, but what, like, I'm saying. What I was saying is that when you offend, uh, when you offend white folks and you offend black folks, there's a dim, different dynamic at play because. Mm-hmm. They can shut you down. You, like you said, you got because your fan base is predominantly white. People accuse you of pandering. But that wasn't by choice. What's, what wasn't by choice? That your fan, My fan base is predominantly white. You want me to tell you? Uh, let me tell you a quick story. I moved to LA straight out of high school. I was 19 in a city where I didn't know nobody. Mm-hmm. Bruce Bruce was my mentor at the time from Atlanta because he. I was going to his mics. You know, I went to all the black clubs that he told me to, and these people gave me so many problems. So I said, if I'm going to have problems in this entertainment industry, it's not going to be from people that look like me. And we both can sit here and agree that if I go do a black room, I have to limit my subject matter, period. This, this comedy is not about colors it's about it's more so about classism have you have you told any holocaust jokes yes i have plenty of jewish jokes you got they're, holocaust they're, jokes they're, like, it's on youtube oh i gotta see that because i'm in mean, the, the reason why i ask because i i a lot of black comedians that i know that will talk about slavery they mm-hmm. have yet to tell a Holocaust joke. Yes, sir. I have a Jewish joke. I, I want to hear that. I will find it. Uh, I uh, I roast battled a guy, and I made a Jewish reference when I roast battled him. What's the joke? <sighs> this is like seven. I'll, I'll, I'll find it before the end of the episode, but I will find it for you. This is like seven years ago. It's on YouTube. You don't remember the joke? I mean, I, it's been seven years, but I will find but it But a Holocaust you. joke, that's something, that seemed like well, something. Well, it wasn't a Holocaust thing. joke. It was a joke against Jewish people. Well, that's different. That's that, that. I mean, it's, it's this. But, no, no, no. That's different because because you t- you're talking about. But we're talking about an event you, versus an individual. I made. I didn't make. I didn't. About I didn't. A people. You're talking about. You're talking about. But that's people, an event. You're talking about a particular group of people versus yeah, versus exactly an event, an atrocity, an atrocity that that Jewish people don't take lightly. But that's an event versus a group of people. But have those you, are two different instances when it comes to comedy. Like I respect. You, when it comes to rap, like you can't, I can't tell you how to write 16 bars and no disrespect to you, but you can't tell me how to write a joke and nobody else can. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I get, I get that. But here's, here's the thing. So what I'm saying is. We can't tell you how to write a joke. But you're talking about a situation. You're talking about an event versus an individual. I didn't, I didn't. So if we had to compare, it would be. Oh, David made a civil rights joke about the civil rights movement because if we're talking about events, that's equivalent to the Holocaust. Not in the same dynamic dynamic as to what happened, but I'm saying an event, whereas we're talking about an individual, right? You, you get what I'm saying? Whereas you're trying to say making a joke about a Jewish person is not the same as making a joke about the Holocaust. And right. what I'm saying is I didn't make any jokes about an event pertaining to black people. Have you made a slavery joke before? Yes, plenty. That's an event. It is an event, but yeah. we're ta- but we're talking about the joke that I'm right here right now for because I have. If you go scroll through my rolodex of jokes and my videos, because George, I'm not ashamed George, of anything, George, you can find many of jokes that we can sit here and pick apart. The George Floyd, the George Floyd uh, uh, incident uh, escalated into an event when it became a movement. Why? So it, Why? B- because it became a movement, and and because people people protested all over the world, uh, you know, because of that in, that that event. So how do you it feel? Was, it was that event that 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 triggered the protest all over the world. So how do white? So how do black people feel about white people protesting with them for for the Floyd movement? I think that the black it 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 depend it depends how, it de- well. How can we pick I, I and choose? I don't, I don't I don't know how all black people felt. But I'm about, saying about this, the, about, this what I'm receiving. About the white people that, that protested. I'm sure that there are black people who, I'm sure that there's a mixed, mixed bag of feelings. And let me ask you a question. When you spoke on me Sunday, wasn't that supposed to be a voice of black people? I don't know if that's the voice of black. That's my, that's my voice as a black man. But how many, people were that, on, how many people were on your YouTube when you made that statement about me? I don't know. 
few, uh, yeah, a few, a few ten thousand. Yeah, something like that. So at that moment, you're the voice for those group of black people. I'll take that. So right now, you should be the voice for that same group of black people. So how do you feel being the voice for a few 10,000 black people? How do you feel with having white people? When do you pick and choose when a white person is an ally? Because how can you say the people at my show when, when were not allies? Ally. When, when when what they, makes they, them when, an ally? When they clearly are an ally. Because when, when you're helping and not hurting. When, you, when you're when sitting... What's you, helping? Well, I can tell you what's not helping. When you're sitting in an audience and you're listening to a comedian on stage... You know, making fun at uh, uh, at a people's pain, and and you're laughing and you're cracking, you you know, you just busting your guts laughing about it. Yeah, that's that's hurting. That those are not allies. What if they don't want to waste their money? But you can't tell me somebody <laughs> that, that was pretty good. But you know, you can't tell me that somebody that's laughing at that man's pain or that those people's <clears throat> pain is an ally. 